this is Melissa and Thad from Buckeye Girls Reason Things. This is what would you make? This week, this month, we made a farmhouse end table. The, ho the hosts are Connie's Creative Creations and OK at Home. And the guest host is CJDI. Hey, it's uh, Thad. I'm working on cutting some wood. We're going to make an end table and what i'm gonna do is uh cut eight of these for two end tables these two by fours 17 and a quarter inches long and i caught a couple i'm not gonna show you every little one so I need eight of these, but I'll show you a couple more. I made a mark. I'm going to redo this and get rid of this bend so I know where I cut. And I'm going to keep my hand away from the saw. We'll cut a couple. I got a mark here where I know they're going to be that long. And I'm just going to hold this in place. Okay. I got eight of these cut. Uh, my next cut's going to be on the legs, which is going to be 20 inches long. And this wood just... Um, Mark down stuff from Home Depot, basically. And I gotta grab my marker. Oh, oh here it is. I wanna make a mark so I know where to stop here. And we're gonna cut eight of these. And we're at 20. It's nice having a laser. Oh, use the same tape measure all the time too, folks. Because, I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to turn it up. I, I know their tape measure may vary a little bit. And you may have two different ratings. I'm trying to see if I can see it. Okay, here we go. We're doing 20 inches. And I'm going to hold it over <laughs> these and 20 inches I mean just I'm paranoid here I'm gonna build another bench for this sock because um I'm not get crazy about it I'm learning when I first started out you don't know a lot <laughs> That one kicked back. Okay, let me get this end fixed here. I do. What the assault stopped there? I'm gonna do another 20. Just to give you an idea, then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, there we go. Hold it tight. And... Okay, we're gonna cut this other thin board. What is this? 15 inches long. It's uh, two and a half by, well, I guess one and a half for the crosses. And I need eight of them. So, and I don't like the saw work. See, and this is going to be redone here. I need these 15 inches. And I got it marked down here so I know. Okay. <laughs> We're going to do uh, eight of these. We're doing two end tables. Yeah. 
I'll just do a few because you guys probably don't want to see me cut every single one. Or maybe, maybe My hand's too close to the saw blade. I gotta move it away back here. Okay. Because here you, you're supposed to have your hand back here, not close to there. Okay. I got four. Let's see if I can get this into one. No, I got five. I'll have to cut two more after this. Okay. Hi, I gotta walk around here and do my uh, pocket holes. And uh, I didn't get them done yet. Okay, here we go. Oh, excuse me, my nose is running it so bad. Let's see. I think I need the short ones. These are the legs, these are the braces. And we're just gonna lock this in place. I don't have it screwed down. I'm just using my bit driver because I forgot to go get the screwdriver. And I think I got this set right. Let's see, I got this set on here. So it goes so far. I forget what jig is I'm using here. This is the uh, Pro Aluminum Pocket Hole Jig System. So I can show you here real quick which one I got. If that will show up there. Okay. Did I drill these? Had the back to hook up to, but let me make sure. Been a while since I did this. There we go. And I got those done. Then I gotta do a couple more on this side. We'll lock it in place. You can put screws in your workbench somewhere. I haven't yet, but I'm kind of a beginner. I'm still learning with this pocket. Oh, Jay, there's another one. I used to use a small one where, for instance, you did this. Yeah. I would take this clamp and just 
lock it down like that and then drill from here. That was my first one. But actually I'm beginning. Where did I get that wood from there? Yep, okay. And here's I'll show you what I'm doing back here. Got to stop here. I think that came loose so it don't go too far. <laughs> That's a hook up to a collection for your, uh, uh, you know, dust and stuff or vacuum, but I don't have it hooked up. Okay. You can actually buy something and make a fill of these, or you can buy the fillers. And I don't know how well you can see the holes went through there. Okay, I gotta keep going. Yeah, I put a little glue on here too. I guess I can turn this around where you can see me. Bed driver works. Pretty good, it got a lot of torque, but the drill probably go a little quicker. And there we go again. Oh, that's what I need to get some pocket hole screws. I got some, but. This is a learning curve for me because uh, actually I have not did this really before building this and I'm going to have to see in this board here it looks terrible. I'm still working on the workshop here. It's been such a mess. I need to clean it up so I can work more and find stuff. I can't find anything in here. It's been so many projects going on. But I'm getting there. I swap up a bunch of stuff. forget what I paid for this but they work pretty good Menards and Home Depot sell them but I got this online the wife seen it somewhere I mean I you said this stuff's gonna get painted but I need seeing it too making an end table a couple <laughs> put your screws down in there okay I won't show you forever doing this stuff we'll move on okay I'm back we're gonna work on this next step and of course I'm having difficulties here 